If you missed it, the last episode I got worked by this uh, Death Sphere boss. And honestly, I don't know if the next go around is going to be any better. Let's let me see real quick. Uh, oh. Nope, that's the fire one. Let's see. I, I had a yeah, that one. That would be perfect for what I'm trying to do. But I am not quite level 16. So, what else do I have? 42 versus my 38, so honestly not a whole lot better. Um, okay, yeah, so I am going to go into this. Actually, I'm going to sell off a few of these anyway, because... Um, actually, no, because... <laughs> The more money you have, uh, the more you lose when you die. So, let's see. I already have full grenades. <clears throat> I have pretty good ammo. Let's see. I mean, I got two electric weapons, uh, a shotgun that's not going to really do much. And if I could get it to that boss with my special skill... Don't hold back! Come on. Nope, missed it. Alright. Oh man. Okay, yep, and I'm already done. Oh gosh. Ah. Okay, well this is a bad place to be, right under the thing. Okay, you know what? I might, and I don't often do this, I might have to go back, level up, get the corrosive weapon, and come back and fight this thing another time. Maybe, we'll see. It'd be really nice if I didn't have to. Is that even damaging? I don't know. Okay, yeah, it is a little bit. Oh. Okay, also, a good thing to do is... If it doesn't kill me... Ah, uh, of course there's no health back. Ah! Alright. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Not really. I mean, really, once I get past this corrosive shield part, it's really not that bad. Because... That's not good. The rest is weak to electricity. There we go, and... Oh, look at that. Ah, but I gotta survive, gotta survive. Okay, come on. The controller don't fail me now. Okay. No! Ah! Oh yes, health. Good, good. Okay, and special skill. Not a really good chance that that will actually work, but... It's in the air. Oh man, talk about an epilepsy light show. Okay. Okay, yeah, shield busters, I can deal with those. Okay, now it's a harder target, but it's still a shield. Oh, oh. That was stupid. And... Look at that. Okay. Never mind. Round two was all we needed. We did it. Okay. Anyways, on to today's episode. So today's episode, or this episode, is about sorting algorithms, data structures, and... Nice save, Reese. Thanks, but let's just take a moment to remember the fallen. Rest in peace, Reese Ball. Rest in peace. Okay, that's embarrassing. I already I forgot what I made the title. Key. Bring it to me aboard Sanctuary. <laughs> so, wait, did we grab the vault key? Fragment? Okay, I guess we did. Alright, anyways, yeah, data, or sorting algorithms, data structures, and... Oh yeah, and death spheres, that's what it was. Okay, so death sphere, check. We got that taken care of. Woo! Alright, and... Um... So, sorting algorithms are really interesting, and you need to understand um, control flow and more, more so loop logic, I guess, 
to be able to implement a uh, sorting algorithm. Now a little refresher on algorithm. Algorithm is just a fancy word for a way of doing something, like a plan if you will. So a sorting algorithm is something that sorts information or data um, to the desired uh, sorted form. So say, all right, well, let's see, and that's also why I'm bringing up data structures because it's a lot easier to understand why you'd want to sort things if you had a data structure that had a lot, of, a lot of elements or items within it. So, let's say you have an array. Okay, here's an easy one: an array of numbers. Now, an array is a series of variables. So, it's not a primitive variable. It's, I mean, I don't know if there's really even a term like more complex variable. Oh, that's that trash. Um, but yeah, so say you have an array of numbers. You know, ints. Let's say integers. <clears throat> and let's say it's just 10 numbers of numbers 1 through 10, but they're out of order. You know, you start with like 9, and then you have 7, 6, 1, 2, 0. You know, it's just a jumbled mess. So, oh, and also we can just fast travel. We'll do that. Alright, so sorting algorithms are really interesting because <laughs> depending on the, the data and which algorithm you choose, the big O complexity, and that's enough for a whole nother episode, is going to be different. So big O complexity measures how efficient an algorithm is, or how efficient a program is, even. So let's say you wanted to sort that array of 10 numbers. Well, <coughs> you have a, quite a few options. And let's see if I can, how many I can remember off the top of my head. And of course, I'm definitely going to add a section of this on the website. Haven't done it yet, but yeah, here we go. So there is merge sort, bubble sort, um, heap sort, radix sort, there's a binary search sort, um, let's see, I know there's a couple more, yeah, merge sort, bubble sort, anyways, yeah, so sorting algorithms are different ways in which you can take a bunch of units of data and put them in order either alphabetically or numerically. <clears throat> and the way that uh, computers understand things is they will sort kind of both. And so, and if you mix it in alphanumerically, where you're using letters and numbers, I can't remember how it goes. I think it sorts on numbers first and then letters. I'm not sure. However... Bring the key fragment to me in the lab, Vault Hunter. I'd always wondered at the sheer size of these vault key fragments. Perhaps the Iridians were larger than us, or stronger. I shall examine this new fragment in private. Okay, so, yeah, sorting algorithms. So basically, you could, oh, there's quick sort, right? Also known as pivot sort, I forgot that one. Okay, so, basically with sorting algorithms, you would essentially take a bunch of jumbled data, like that array with all those numbers out of order, and you would feed it into a sorting algorithm, and then you would get a sorted array in return. So you'd get, say they were numbers zero through nine, um, you would get it 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Or, you know, if there's any gaps, of course, there'd be gaps. But, anyways. You may leave now. Come talk to me on the Short bridge. Sweet. Okay. So, anyways, yeah, and that's that. <clears throat> and, you know, I remember we spent a lot of time at CSU learning sorting algorithms. I remember one lab specifically was just quick sort or pivot sort. Now, the concept behind a quick sort <coughs> is where you use a pivot value. Probably Reese's mustache. Oh, Looks like Maya has slowed down a bit. Bam! Badass incoming! Yeah. And we're supposed to talk to Lilith, but it's always fun to listen to the, the extra dialogue from the other characters. Okay. Lilith. See ya. Stop. We're putting Malawan to shame out there, killer. Thanks to you, Atlas might just survive this war after all. But we can't lose sight of the vault. We gotta get there before the Calypso. That's our mission. Okay, so quick sort. Let's check in with Reese. No. He said he's got intel on the final key track. Oh, this oh, is yeah, fun. Reese Strongfort. <laughs> Man, what a cool name. Yep. I bet his ancestors didn't get bullied at all. Hey guys, thanks for fixing my little death laser problem. Morale is soaring. You're welcome. So, said you know where the last key fragment is? Well, and, uh, in case don't be mad, I have the third key fragment here in Atlas Engines. You've been keeping that from us the whole time? 
I knew we couldn't trust a guy with a mustache. It's a siege mustache, okay? Look, key fragments are worth billions. The research benefits alone could keep Atlas profitable for decades. I've already done some experiments with it, so taste test, that sort of thing, but at this point, you've it. Cool. Well, we still want it, even if you licked it. No spoilers, but I hope you like sour apple. Come on down to Atlas, and I'll have Zero let you in through the ice. Okay. All right, so now we can quick travel there as well. All right, so we are going to Promethea, and we're gonna go see our buddy Reese. Okay, so yeah, quick sort pi or pivot sort is where you establish a pivot point and then you move all the other values either above or below that depending on if they are higher or lower in order of that pivot and then you pick another pivot point at random <clears throat> and you continue the same process until everything is in sorted order now and this is also kind of where uh, big O complexity comes into place because depending on how you do these algorithms it can either be more costly or less costly um, as far as like computing resources and time goes so yeah, time efficiency is, is really important in computer science because sorting an array of 10 numbers, yeah, that, that's not going to take that long, but sorting an array of 10,000 or even 10 million numbers, that's going to take a bit of time, and it's going to be important to know which algorithm to use, um, which one's going to be the most efficient, and yeah. Alright, so, let's see, yeah, pivot sort is how you do that, and yeah, like I said, I'm going to add examples of all of these sorting algorithms as well as add all the ones that I forgot to get to the secret VIP um, entrance, on the website. Zero will let you in. Okay. There's still a side quiet. mission. We must still be pissed off that we blew up his ship. Guido's probably crying somewhere in a fondue jacuzzi or whatever he's into. <laughs> Spoilers, he's not. Oh, hope you don't mind me listening in. But your echo encryption is broke as hell. I had a chat with Katagawa. He thought he could win a war from an anti-grav swimming pool. So I gave him a little push. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't need that anymore. Need that, need that. This would have been nice. Hmm. But I don't need it. I mean, I don't think we're coming up on any more, uh... And honestly, I don't need that one either. That one's not good. I mean, I like this one. And I like this one. I mean, I do want one caustic weapon. That's actually a really good one, so I'm gonna keep those. But Ooh. okay, sorry. Let me try to hurry this up. Um, actually, yeah, that's really nice. We're gonna get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. That one mixes tears. So does that one. Okay, cool. All right, onward. Now another sorting algorithm. I mentioned uh, bubble sort. Now bubble sort is a really fun one. Um, Basically the idea behind that is it takes a value and it bubbles it to the top. So it checks to see if the, so it takes like the first index or the first value in the grouping and then it compares it with the one directly to the right. And if it's higher than that, it gets moved to the right. If it's lower, then it stays where it is and then it moves on to the next one. And it continues that process over and over until everything is in sorted order. Oops, there, there's my rocket. Okay, um, yeah, and so it bubbles to the top. That's how the values get sorted. One by one, they bubble to the top. And also, now that I'm thinking about it, I, I want to say it goes through and it checks every one of them to see if it's like a max, a maximum number, or the highest value. And it moves that... Oh, no, am I really... Oh, oh my gosh. Pro tip. You can punch these things and usually dislodge them, or destroy them. Uh, oh, oh gosh. Okay, whatever. We'll go find another one. Wait, can I just hijack the car? This would be where a corrosive weapon would come in handy. Alright, whatever. We're just going to throw it on foot for a little while. Um. Oh, tch, never mind. It didn't matter because, actually, this is as far as we could have gone anyway. What's this? I've never seen that before. Don't know what the point was. 
Okay, cool. So anyways, back to sorting algorithms. So you have bubble sort, which one by one bubbles value to the very top until it finds them all over. And let's listen to a Typhon Delina. Hi, Namaki. Just sitting there in front of the vault. Good thing I didn't open it myself. I gave the vault key to Atlas. Not a boatload of cash. The rest is history. Anyway, as soon as I made my money, who shows up at my door but can't land to Vegas? Sorry, we couldn't really hear that. Okay, cool. Um, oh, and did we just level up? We did, so now we probably could have used that corrosive weapon. Well, let's get a skill anyway. That sounds like a good idea. Nope, nope. Nope, nope. And... Sure, why not? Ooh, also, didn't realize, we could have been doing this the whole time. Let's see, so... Surrounded by radio or constantly damaging nearby enemies. Actually, that's... Oh, I can have that as... W oh, wait, no. I can have two of those. Cool. Always pay attention to what's going on over there on the right of the screen. Because, yeah, now I'm fully loaded. And let's continue. Because we're already halfway through. And we got to go get that vault key piece. I mean, not really. We can just split this episode up. And, like I said, we're definitely going to be making this into a two-parter. Maybe even a three-parter. Because... Sorting algorithms alone, I could ramble on about it for like a half hour. Um, so yeah. Then you have binary search sort, which is kind of out of order. A lot of the other ones are used for like primitive data types, but binary search sort, um, it's, also, it's useful for adding data or adding values to an array. So, or a binary search tree, something like that. That's actually a kind of its own concept too. But anyways, binary search sort is where you're adding to an array, and think about it like pages in a book. So you get pages 1 through 100, and you are trying to add page 50. Well, okay, page numbers probably aren't the best example, but say it's also a dictionary and they're alphabetical, and you don't know the exact page numbers per letter. So you get something that's an M. Well, that's pretty much right in the middle of a dictionary. So you try to add it to the middle, and you check to see the middle value, and if it's higher or lower, and then you either add it to the left or the right half of the dictionary. So M, it probably wouldn't take too long and then you'd find it. But let's say you had, uh, let's say like J? I'm trying to think of something that's like in the middle, in the middle. Anyways, so let's say J. You, you try to add it to the dictionary, you check the very middle right, value. You're here. Awesome. Zero, let them in. Zero? You're here, buddy. Open up the door. Oh, great, now Zero's missing. <laughs> I guess I'll buzz you in myself because the CEO has to do all the work around here. Okay. So, you're adding J. When you check the middle value, I'm pretty sure that's either M or N. I'm not 100% sure, but it's, one, it's something around there. So, you compare J to M, and it's less than M. Okay, so now you take the first half of the dictionary, A through M and you check the middle value in that. And honestly, I want to say it's around J, like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. All right, never mind. it's definitely not um, J. But you would check J against the middle value in that, which would be A, B, C. Well, you get the idea. And you keep repeating that process until you find where it belongs in the dictionary. And once you get to the same letter, then you do sorting by the second letter in the word, just like a normal dictionary. So it would be completely sorted. Oh, and so on. Second letter, third letter, fourth letter, etc. Come up to my office slash museum great aquarium and I'll get you that tasty key fragment. Now I just have to find where zero disappeared to. Easy, Liam. The vault hunter's with me. VIP. All access. Oh, sorry, sir. But wow, a real vault hunter. Right away, sir. Yeah, there's a lot of vault hunters, but I guess not. There's only 12 or 13. Krieg was another vault hunter in the Borderlands 2. There was an additional Welcome character. Welcome to Atlas. Anyways. We built this place from the foundations. The old Atlas was just a pile of glass sand and bankruptcy filings when I got here. Nice place, Reese. I'm gonna enjoy watching it burn from the inside out. Get over it, Katagawa! You can't hold the city! The key fragments slipped through your fingers, and now you're losing your grasp on reality! That's three hand things right there! Yay, you can't get past my defense turrets! 
<laughs> okay. And let's see, other sorting algorithms. There's radix sort, which honestly I don't really know that one off the top of my head. I'd have to do some research. Um, bubble sort, merge sort. Merge sort is where you merge two arrays together, or two sets of data together. And really, it's kind of like a comparison. But your friend oh. Zero can. All right, so it's really a comparison, like one at a time, like where each value should go, and then it kind of sorts it from there. And honestly, even as I say that, that doesn't sound completely right. I figured there was some back here messing with him. I hate that guy because he throws those things on the ground and then you gotta try to shoot him. Ah! No! No! Okay, well, that works too. Where'd that guy go? Okay. And let's see, yeah, like I said, radix sort, I would have to research a little bit. Uh, we didn't actually use those in school. Uh, we definitely did quick sort, merge sort, bubble sort, um, heap sort. I almost want to say heap sort is very similar to merge sort. But again, I haven't used a lot of these sorting algorithms. Definitely not any jobs I've had. And to be honest, a lot of uh, sorting functions are actually already built into programming languages. For instance, I know Python has two sorting methods. Methods or functions. Uh, I'll pretty much use those terms interchangeably at this point. Um, but there is there is a difference. I just don't know off the top of my head what it is. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah, in Python, it's literally sorted and sort. Those are the two functions that um, sort sets of data. And also, when you want to do things like sorting IP addresses, then you have to import spe special functions, usually from other libraries. Um, they're still pre-made functions. In fact, I'm finishing up a Python script right now that... Oh, let's see, what does it do? It analyzes a log file. <coughs> or it generates a log file based on other log files? Or yeah, based on a file of information. <laughs> Oddly enough, it's about a Minecraft server, so that's pretty cool. But anyways, and we'll talk about that too. File input and output, that's a whole nother episode on its own. And that is huge in computer science. I know I've already mentioned that a few times by now, but yeah, it's huge. And when I get to it, we'll get to it. Okay, so sorting algorithms and data structures. Let's talk about data structures real quick. And then maybe we'll circle back to sorting algorithms as I think it's more. So data structures, um, there are more complex data types like arrays, array lists, link lists, graphs, hash tables, uh, let's see if I'm forgetting anything. Well, and objects, we talked about those already. Um, so let's start with arrays we kind of know. I mean, it's a set of data with indices. Oh, that's right, I didn't talk about indices before. So in index, or the indices of an, of an array are the locations. So each location in an array will have an index. And all of computer science, or at least most of it is, like 99% of it, is zero-based indexing. And that makes more sense when you learn about computer architecture. And don't worry, we'll definitely have an episode on that as well. But for now, so indexes start at zero. Yep, see the pets on the chest, that's nice. All right, not a great chest, but anyways. So at index zero, you have the first element in your array. Um, actually, now that I think about it, it is kind of funny how they do Your it because... Your best butt zero stabbed you in the back! How's it feel, Reese? Shut up, Katagawa! Zero would never betray me! Okay, so, um, actually a little backstory to what's going on with all this borderlands. Zero's missing, and there's someone that looks like Zero, supposedly Zero, running around and killing a bunch of people. Oh yeah, right here, you see it. There's a zero. Zero is hunting down your soldiers. Oh, no, 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 no. Zero's loyalty is not in question. Wherever he is, he 
must have a good reason. You just focus on kicking out Malawan. Okay. And we're rushing through. This is the Atlas headquarters, which is already in shambles. And we're trying to turn on defense turrets to protect against Malawan's forces. Okay. And, oh, we're already at 25 minutes. So, yeah, this is definitely going to get split up into two as we just started talking about data structures. And I had a whole class on data structures. Yes, I already mentioned that. That's right. So, anyways. Linked list. Now, or actually, no, sorry. The next one would be array list. Now, an array list is a expandable array. Now, usually when you declare an array and you fill it with values, it stays the same size. If you want to make a... If you want to add more items to an array than its size allows, you have to create a whole new array, a bigger array, and then add all of the items from the original array, in array into the new array. Alright, so that's actually what array lists do. So when array lists reach um, close to capacity, you know, they can't hold any more values, they will automatically double their size and add all of the original values to the new array, but they'll just automatically do that for you as they're reaching their capacity. I think there's a way to set uh, specifically at what point it does that, and there's a default point. But basically, oh, now these electric dog things. Robots. Not that it matters, I mean, this is all fake anyway, so, yeah. Oh! Oh, a Null Hound! Right. Another throwback to a Null value. Which means none, or empty or uninitialized. Stuff like that. We need those turrets online. Um, Hurry, Vault Hunter! Gotta push the button. Okay, so array lists are basically fancy arrays that can eat that tasty atlas tech. That can double their size and uh, yeah. okay, the rear defenses are back online. We can get the rear defenses up too. Oh, we yeah. might actually survive this. The turrets are back work. Okay, so array lists are fancy arrays and link lists are even fancier. So a link list, what it is, is it's a bunch of nodes that have a data value and a pointer pointing to the next Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay. Oh, that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. So anyways, link lists are a list of nodes that are in order and the the, the value for the next node is contained in each node of the list. Which makes it kind of interesting when you're trying to remove nodes. Oh, there you are. You, just, you, um, you actually have to go to the node before it and make it point to the node after it. So it doesn't really erase the node in between. It just kind of forgets that it's there. I mean, and then later on, if you're using a language like Java, the garbage collector will come by and, and take care of that unused node. But that's even more in depth than I want to go with that. Soldier, don't you dare use your last words to slander Zero. Say you're being murdered by someone else. I supermented. Oh, come on! Let them hear your rage. Horrible grenade. That's okay, we can hit his ball on his back. Oh, and those are my own grenades, I'm pretty sure. Okay. And there's also another one. He's dead. Good boy. Okay. So, link lists. That's a data structure. Um, binary search trees. That's another data structure. And those are really interesting, too, because they take the concept of the binary search sort and they make a tree. Now, a tree has a root node at the very top and then it has a child nodes underneath it. Now, a binary search tree, see, I believe every node only has two nodes. A node that's higher and a node that's lower. Okay, yeah, we're going to definitely have to split this up because it's going to be getting pretty in-depth. So, anyways, yeah, binary trees. 
um, they're binary, so each node is split into two sub nodes. So one higher, one lower, and everything in between would actually go back between the nodes. Let's see, that's not a very good way to describe it. So say the top node is five. Everything lower than five goes to the left bit, and everything higher than five goes to the right of it. But where's my cat? So, go get them. Nice. Oh, no. It's floating. And one more. No. Oh, that guy. That guy right there. Oh, and we're at 30 minutes, so as soon as we get to a stopping point... Actually, that's as good as any, because I can pause this to start a new episode. Alright, I'll be back with more data structures, sorting algorithms, and hopefully not too many more death spheres. But yeah, maybe some of that too. Alright, see you in the next one.